Croatia Pau. Welcome to our open event. My name is Tim Peel. I'm the Real Vocational Manager and I'm based at the Real Campus for College Landithlo. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the courses that we have on offer, including some of the opportunities that you'll get once you've successfully completed them and gained a qualification. So if we start with business administration, we offer this with a full-time course, which is over three days a week based at the Real Campus. We have uh, we deliver a level two and it's an OCR qualification. So this will enable you to gain skills and readiness to go and work in an office environment. I'd also like to give you the opportunity to listen to what the students think about us and some of the comments that they have made. So we have hair and we have our business administration. Please take some time and listen to these. My name is Leah Davenport and I'm currently studying supporting business operations. I decided to come to college because I'd like to gain my certificates and um, gain my qualifications. I currently worked in administration before, but I decided that I'd want to gain a bit more behind me. Supporting business operations, we cover ECDL, which is an IT course. We do customer service and also um, administration certificates, so it's three certificates in, in one. We then come on to our hair provision. We offer hair and beauty also in the rural campus. Within hair, we offer options for year 11 and year 10 from schools. We then offer a level one, a level two, and a level three program. All these programs are designed to give you skills where you will attend three days a week in the, within our full-time program, one day from school. And within our full-time program, we, you will have two days in the salon and one day for theory. And the purpose of these courses is to prepare you and ensure that you get those skills readiness to go into and work in a hairdressing in environment. My name's Leighton Brown and I'm studying hairdressing. I decided to come to college because I'm not getting any younger and I wanted to get a career um, where I wasn't just working in a shop. I could get a career and grow my skills. So. I've always been passionate about hairdressing, something I've always wanted to do. I've enjoyed the practical of the course. The tutors are very supportive, they're always there to talk to, you can go to them, so they'll always answer any questions you've got and be there to help you along the way to make it easier. The facilities are good at the college. You've got learner services, the canteens where people can go at dinner time. You've got lots of support at the learner services, they'll tell you what you, what you can get, what help you can get, what courses are right for you. We then have public services and public services we have a level one which is a preparation to work in public services, a level two, which is a GCSE equivalent, and a level three, which is an A-level equivalent. Those courses are, allow you to prepare yourself to go and work in the public service in, uh, area of work. This includes things such as the police, the army, the fire service, anything associated with the public service. Our level three program is a level equivalent and that will prepare you to go into work in university or go to university and develop your skills further. It also allows you to go straight in as officer level within the uh, army and the navy. I'd like to introduce you to David who will then give you an insight into some of the things we do within public services. Hi my name is Dave Byrne, I'm the level one and two public services coordinator at Royal College. Hopefully if you come on our course, I'll be your personal tutor as well. Okay, so you'll be seeing a lot of me. Um, some of the units you'll be studying this year will be role of work in the public services, working skills in the public services. Okay, so for those two, you'll learn a lot about how people work in the public services, what their roles are, how you should behave in the public services, what's expected of you. Okay, you'll also be looking at health, fitness and lifestyle. So some practical elements there. Uh, you'll be looking at citizenship and society, okay, where we'll look at the importance of being a good citizen when you're working in the public services. You'll look at crime and its effects on society, where we look at how criminal activities can affect people's normal daily lives and also affect the society in which we live in. You will carry out a research project on volunteering in the public services because the public services depend a lot on volunteering. You'll also look at security procedures in the public services, okay? And one other thing that you hopefully may 
get to experience is land navigation by map and compass. Very important in the public services and hopefully it can take you along with Royal College to places like this. Hope to see you soon. Stay safe. If you would like any more information, don't hesitate to contact us and we will support you in making sure that you make the right career decisions for your future. Thank you.